story tonight at 10. The city of Memphis will not have to pay for the actions of two former police officers. James Fetter and Adam Gagne were accused of planting drugs on Fetter's estranged wife and her male friend back in 2005. Thanks for joining us. I'm Richard Ransom. I'm Claudia Barr. The two say they were left financially distraught after the false arrests and wanted the officers and city to pay millions of dollars in damages. But a federal jury decided the city of Memphis is not responsible. Our Donya Backus is live at federal court downtown with more. Richard and Claudia, this battle has been going on for six years now. Leah Fetter and Herbert Adcock say that the Memphis Police Department ignored their constant complaints about James Fetter. And today, they were looking for not only the officers, but the city of Memphis to pay millions of dollars for the distress they say the situation caused them. I'm very disappointed. Leah Fetter was hoping for a different outcome as she walked out of federal court Monday. She waited six years to have her case heard and was looking for closure. I thought I'd have some justice today and it would be resolved and I can move forward. But she says that didn't happen. In 2007, Memphis police officer James Fetter and Adam Gagne were charged with conspiring to frame his estranged wife, Leah, and her male friend, Herbert Adcock. The officers planned a traffic stop and according to Leah and Adcock, Adcock planted illegal drugs in Adcock's truck and Leah's purse. Six years later, Leah and Adcock were back in federal court trying to get the former cops and their former employer, the city of Memphis, to pay millions of dollars. The two claim they never recovered financially from the arrest and say the police department ignored their constant complaints about James Fetter. The city had a pattern and practice by taking no action or inaction when citizens came and complained about things that were happening to them. Um, at the hands of the police. But the federal jury sided with the city, saying it was not responsible for the violation of Leah and Adcock's constitutional rights. There will be a separate legal proceeding to determine how much in damages the officers will have to pay. James Fetter is out of prison, but Adam Gagne remains behind bars on several charges. Reporting live this evening, Donya Backus, WREG News Channel 3.